I know a lot of people think that the lifestyle of a music maker is pretty sweet. And you know what? It's really not. It's hours upon hours in the studio, practicing, trying things, failing at things, showing up again and again, just trying to suck that little bit less every day. We're mostly in isolation, cut off from the rest of the world, and it's really not as sexy as people make it out to be. So that's what I thought we'd talk about today, the totally unsexy side of being a music maker. Enjoy. I think when we first get into this game, we can easily get caught up in the fantasy of what we think this lifestyle actually looks like. You know, making beats in the studio and playing in all the hot clubs and getting signed to record labels and touring all around the world. But I think that fantasy really quickly starts to fade once we start to realize the reality of how much work we have in store for us. At the beginning, we have so much to learn and so much work ahead of us that can really easily put people off this path. And I've seen this happen so many times with my students over the years when they don't realize the reality of what being a music maker actually looks like. There's this misconception that making music is pretty easy or that like anyone can do it and anyone can do it, but it's certainly not easy. That road to success or to reach any level of accomplishment that looks like this fantasy lifestyle that we might have in our mind is going to take years. And I say this to comfort you. I think it's so important to address this and to keep our egos in check right from the get-go so that we know what we're up against. If you're coming into this game with a certain level of ignorance, like you've got this whole thing figured out and it's not that hard, then the music industry is going to kick your ass. It is so easy to get caught up in the lifestyle of a music maker without actually putting in the work necessary to deem ourselves worthy of the title. You know, the room full of gear, the perfect studio lighting, the pot plant in the corner, the sweet pic of you on Instagram. None of this shit actually writes the music. I think we like to believe if we surround ourselves with this stuff that it's going to somehow take care of itself for us. When we first get started in this game, we're super naive, destined to make something of our creative side. But then reality sets in and we sit down and we realize just how how hard this game really is. So we buy the gear, we set up the studio just the way we like it. We have all the perfect mood lighting and the plant in the corner, but then we actually have to put in the work. And it's here in this place that it all starts to fall apart. We will do anything to avoid doing the actual work, which leads us down pathways that may feel like progress that just take us further and further away from what we know we should be doing. Each time we face these challenges, our brain is going to tell us that we need to solve this problem externally, not internally, all right? The problem couldn't be that we just haven't put in enough hours or that we haven't shown up consistently. The problem is that we don't have the right equipment. Our studio isn't set up properly. The mood isn't right, but we have to stop looking externally to solve these problems. We need to start facing those challenges head on and pushing through the suck. And it is going to suck. It is un sexy as hell, but there is a silver lining. Oh, hey there. You may have noticed when you clicked on today's video, no ads and no sponsor bringing you today's video. That's right. We don't do that here. I like to keep things here organic, non-GMO and 100% vegan. Oh, and I also like coffee. So if you like what I do here and you want to support, you may want to consider buying me a coffee. It'd be really appreciated, but not expected. Now back to the video. That lifestyle that we're seeking, the clubs, the gigs, the record labels, that stuff does come, but it takes time. It takes years. It takes dedication, discipline, consistency. All those things that you aren't doing, that's what it takes. All those external things that you probably are doing won't make the slightest bit of difference. So I suppose my point with all this is just for us to recognize this lifestyle for what it is and to stop 
looking externally for things to solve your internal problem, which is you not doing the work. You just have to do the work. I truly believe that the biggest struggle music makers face is the unwillingness to put in the work. I honestly can't remember the last time I watched a tutorial or downloaded a preset pack or bought some new gear or signed up to a masterclass or watched a fucking tips and tricks video because I know that the thing that solves my problem isn't out there. The solution is in here. It's always in here. Working through the totally unsexy life that is being a music maker. Well, that's it for me today. I'm going to sign off for now. If you did like this video, then please remember to subscribe. It really does help. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up also. Until next time, keep creating. Bye for now.